Monkey Mason, and welcome to Fast Forward Reviews. The movie is Toys. It is an adventure in a factory. It's a comedy, but it's definitely a drama. Definitely. I don't care what people say, this is not for kids. The year, 1992. It is on for 1 hour and 58 minutes. If this is a kids movie, that is a long running time for a movie called Toys. Directed by Barry Liverston. Written by Valerie Kirtrin and Barry Liverston. I'm sure I got that right. I think. Starring Robin Williams, Michael Gambon, Joan Cusack, Robin Wright, before she was a pen, <laughs> LL Cool J, Donald O'Connor, Art Metrano, P. By Menza. Are you guys just rhyming off the entire cast here to get me to cut all this up? Yesterday Smith. Isn't that one of the Simpsons? I'm sure that's Bart or Lisa. With Jamie Gertz, who is the Christmas tree, like Lost Boys was only about five years before this, and Jamie Gertz is in the opening as a Christmas tree. What's that about? And introducing Jamie Foxx. The age rating for this movie is a PG. This movie should be a 12. Should be a 12 to the edge. There's some anger in here. No, definitely this should be a 12. Tagline for this movie is, laughter is a state of mind. I'm sure that's the right way around. Budget for this movie, 50 million. Wow, for a 1992 film, wow. That is a lot of money for a movie. So here's a little bit about the movie when a wacky billionaire sadly dies. He leaves his toy company, wobble wobble, to his brother, who is a former military general. Instead, his son and daughter, because they're a bit wacky. They're absolutely crazy. They're definitely a bit off the wall. Child toys soon turn in a war toys and the happy workers. Happy workers. Happy workers. The happy workers soon become sad because they're no longer happy because it's like working in a prison. Fed up with everything what's going on, Leslie and his sister decide to take a stand against their uncle, trying to take back the family name and start an all out war with toys. Fun fact about the movie, going back to the whole 50 million to make it, this took almost 10 years to get out of development and 10 months to film. Bonus fun fact, this does not have toys written on the discs, just a teddy bear and an elephant, so it definitely appeals to kids. Look mammy, I wanna watch this one, what's this? Whoa, what's this movie? I actually seen this at the pictures. There's a bonus fun fact there. So here's my review of the movie. This movie is insane. From folding down houses, Seriously, don't get me wrong, that looks amazing at the start of the movie, but it makes no sense. How could you go to bed at night and the house falls in? There's even a dog crosser, oops, sorry, in the factory. You know where you're going long walking, you've got to stop for toy ducks going across. Sorry, I'm out of the way. And again, this is not a kid's movie. I don't care what the box says. The movie does look stunning, but the story and tone is not for kids. It's dark, it's very grim. And if it was for kids, it's quite a hard story to follow. And to add on top of that, it's got a Christmas theme going on. If anything, you're going to think Santa Claus is some weird kind of crazy work slave. But back to the sets. They look stunning. They're very artistic and definitely, definitely worth seeing. Going back to the whole movie being bonkers, there is a scene where they need to break into a room they don't know what's going on in. So, in order to trick the guards, they make a music video. Seriously, overlay a music video. So as this music video is playing, they sneak on and sort of dance around and it's weird, it's like wipe down the side of the screen there What's there'll be another on? person, wipe down the screen right, there there'll be another person, going on? everyone's like happy workers kind of going forward. on MTV plugging happy and workers. they're doing all this and they're sneaking happy into this room while the guards yeah. are like watching and thinking it's MTV Someone and you think how do they even have time to come up with that music video? That music video for the time was cutting I'm edge scared. you couldn't just put it together in five minutes and say wow look at that get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of the music video Yeah to come up with all that just to sneak into a room and also to plug MTV. This movie does have a good score though which flat out just has fun it knows what it is it's happy one minute and then evolves happy workers to happy workers so it's quite eerie in a way as well. There is just something very sinister about this movie it gets very cold as well there is a toy war at the end where you've got all these lovable toys get the heads blown off over robots Yes, there's more than one, but it's like toy apocalypse going down here. It's like sausage party when the flower hits the floor and all these toys are just running out of batteries and walking around with half the heads blown off. It's something very sinister, I told you. There's evil at work here. Although Robin Williams at this time was huge, absolutely huge, God bless you. 
Michael Gambon steals the show in this. He's absolutely amazing in this. If you did miss this, it is worth a watch. It is off the wall. Very off the wall. Even LL Cool J in one of his earlier roles keeps popping up out of nowhere and you think, just to use Delirious here with Eddie Murphy, at one point LL Cool J is dressed in all in red and giving this massive like motivational speech and everyone's like, where is he? Where can he be? Where can he be? And he turns around against a red wharf, just like Eddie Murphy right there. He's just like, hiya, <laughs> candy man. Yeah, the film is absolutely wired at some points. But it's not a comedy, no matter what the box says. In a strange way as well, years later, Barry Levinston, Levinston also directed The Bay. Now, The Bay is another review I have wrote and I haven't got around to film it. So I'm just going to go straight into here very quickly. It's a Barry Levinston film from a couple of years ago. It's a found footage movie about some kind of weird disease that comes out the bay, kills the fish, and the girl comes onto a webcam and confesses as they find the footage. Again, it's like watching a ghost story. Everyone seems to die. They've got these... Like things will sit in the back of your throat and your tongues. Quite eerie, but it's one of them found footage films that makes the footage look worse and degraded than it is. Very grim, but if you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. Check it out. It's a freestyle movie in a way, found footage. Love the cover, it's the reason I bought it. And it was going to get its own review, but now I can cross it off in the book as well. So how many concert bricks do I give toys out of five? I'm going to give it a three. One, two, three. It's meant to be a comedy, it's not. It's very artistic, some of the stuff in it's amazing. I mean, as I say, I went to see this at the pictures expecting a Robin Williams laugh out loud comedy, coming off the fact of Hook, definitely, and Aladdin at the time, he was the voice of the genie. And yes, Robin Williams has done stuff like Dead Poet Society, Good Morning Vietnam. He is known to have that dark side of him, especially in one hour photo, amazing movie. But in this, it's just too off the wall. As I say, it's more nostalgia than me giving this. Get rid of them. I've been Steve Monkey Mason, and this has been a total rant of a review. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. What was that about? I have no idea what that was just about. It was really? Some kind of review for toys, I think. What, the Robin Williams one? Yeah, the Robin Williams one. Dude, that is not a kid's movie at all. No, it's not a kid's film. What was that about? Why are we going to do this for? Well, that's why we were needed for that, I guess. Needed for that? Why can't he do it? I don't know. I'm out of here. I'm sick of this.